Historically, during times of economic upheaval, we have people flocking to radical ideas. And that is definitely true for our neighbors up north in Canada with some of the explosive, mind-boggling news that is developing there right now, nonetheless on May Day, a day that some people even conflate with Illuminati Day, of course, a very pagan and communist rich day. And on this day, we have Canada making major moves, eviscerating people's liberties and freedoms. And to talk about that, plus a lot more, we have Tim Pichot, the Liberty Advisor, who, of course, will be talking about that, plus a lot more with us. And uh, holy cow, I mean, uh, Tim, we usually talk about economic stuff, and, and definitely Canada has been hit hard, just like the rest of the world. There's articles talking about how they have already entered into a recession because of the sickness going around. But because of this kind of economic turmoil, because of this supposed, quote, emergency, well, the government is stepping in and they are now issuing $750 fines for not identifying yourselves to police officers. Yep, there's a quote, temporary power, as we know, temporary powers for government are usually unlimited, never ending powers, but there's a temporary power through, of course, an emergency order that according to this, <laughs> this media organization will be better protecting people during the sickness. And uh, I, I think generating revenue for a, a bureaucratic fat cap Government officials is not really something that's going to be helping anyone as you're taking and stealing people's money away from not identifying themselves for mandatory security checkpoints. And 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 that's that's one very dangerous implication. And again, they're saying here the solicitor general um, in, of course, this Canadian providence where this is happening is saying, quote, it is essentials that measures are in place to allow provincial offenses officers to lawfully lawfully <laughs> you've got to love these bureaucrats in their language uh, quote require an individual to disclose their correct name date of birth and address in order to protect our communities this is just absolutely ridiculous this of course is happening in ontario that has declared a state of emergency since march 17th that order is of course extended it's going to be extended more and of course the powers that were there well you know they're they're most likely not going to go back and failure to comply with this emergency order could carry a punishment of up to one year in jail or fines in addition to not identifying yourself, which could go up to $100,000 <laughs> for individual or a half a million dollars for a director of a corporation <laughs> or $10 million for a corporation that is not abiding by these emergency protocols and rules in Ontario. And with that mandatory checkpoints, we of course also have now gun grabs as Justin Trudeau, the prime minister of Canada, announced that he is banning all assault style weapons, specifically 1,500 types of quote assault style. Again, assault style is just a very vague kind of term. Not a lot of people know exactly what it means. It's just been broadly, generally used it's by black and scary looking as a way to just uh, get as much power and control as they can from you. But Prime Minister Justin Trudeau announced a ban on 1,500 makes and models of quote military grade assault style weapons in Canada effective immediately. Uh, 1,500 uh, that's that's a lot of makes. That's a lot of miles. That's essentially everything out there. And starting today, licensed gun owners, you know, lawful citizens that did the right thing, filled out all the paperwork, jumped through all the government hoops, which there's a lot of in Canada that did the right thing. Well, they are no longer able to sell, transport, import, or use any sort of these weapons in the country. Trudeau said that there will be a two-year amnesty period 
to allow people who already own these firearms to comply with the ban and that quote there will be fair compensation i don't know what kind of fair compensation you could have for eviscerating and losing your rights especially if you're living in the wilderness protecting yourself from of course wild animals and bears uh, that's a whole nother conundrum that the people of Canada will now have to face because of good old government. Uh, he also announced that there could be some buyback programs, which of course are going to cost the taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars. Why should we disarm them? Why should registered gun owners who obeyed the law be taken advantage of and have their rights stripped away? Well, that's just the way that Justin Trudeau announced. And on top of that, let's not forget a few days ago, he is also saying that Canada will not return to normal in a very long time, only until there will be a vaccine. And Trudeau is warning Canada's that the shutdown will remain for weeks, extending it until a vaccine is developed. And we, we even have a recent video coming out from the chief public health officer of Canada that in 2010 was talking about and advocating for tracking bra bracelets for people who are refusing to be vaccinated. So, Tim, I mean, we got all the hallmarks here, mandatory checkpoints, paper, please, gun confiscations, forced vaccinations. I don't know what you call that um, uh, in basic terms here, Tim, but... But but um, it, it sounds a lot like totalitarianism, police state, all in the disguise of social justice warrior progressivism. And in reality, it is just the destruction of people's liberty and freedom, which is atrocious and sad to see, in my opinion. What do you think, Tim? Well, the things I want to call it, Luke, uh, I don't know if, if, if uh, YouTube... You can't even or... say because the YouTube thought police are going to go after us and we can't even make comparisons to World War II in Germany. We can't do that. We could say, you know, that, but, but we can't say more specific details about that. It's crazy, Tim. We're living in... Like, this is The walls are coming in, Tim. This is not good. This is not good at all. I mean, for me, my, my biggest issues outside of the economy has actually always been the Second Amendment. And it's not because I'm always, you know, walking around some big gun guy. It's because I know that it's the Second Amendment that really, you know, keeps everything else at bay. I mean, the, the tyrants right now, their plan has been I mean, Donald Trump, you know, basically helped push their plan back. But unfortunately, he's also helped advance their plan over what's gone on the past two months more than anyone could have possibly imagined. And so I really had a, you know, especially when Trump started talking about bump stock bans and, uh, and people are like, oh, well, you know, it's just a bump stock. You know, who cares about bump stocks? It's not about the bump stock. I've never used a bump stock. I, I, you know, I've never, never even seen one. But the point is, we, sh we should not be having talking about any more gun laws. You know, how about we start repealing the gun laws instead of trying to add more to them? And so by trying to placate the left, you're never going to make them satisfied. So you shouldn't even give them any bone to throw us whoever because they're never going to throw any bone our way. And I hate even saying our because this our and we, I mean, I don't feel like anything that's going on represents anyone, especially any of our viewers and people that think like us. But, you know, when it really comes down to it, it's my biggest issue has been the Federal Reserve and and the Second Amendment. And so with the federal with the federal reserve i mean they are essentially now owning the entire world they are basically turning us into high tech slaves but what they want to do in this whole tyranny social credit score uh you know universal basic income digital dollar i mean here i'm you know sort of rambling but you know it's this is where everything is going and i see them making the move right now and we talked about you know you had talked about the you know the first issue over here about uh, not showing your id to law enforcement People don't know this. In at least in Arizona, if you're within 100 miles of the border, typically now it's the southern border. But about 70% of Americans live within uh, within 100 miles of a border because it's not only just uh, you know like being next to the ocean that counts as being next to a border. And so there is something called a Constitution free zone. People might not know that those actually exist. It was I believe George W. Bush that signed those into law. And I've been victim of this myself, where I had there's internal checkpoints. I wanted to have a word for them, but I'm not allowed to use that word on, on YouTube. And so internal checkpoints, and they ask you, you know, are you a citizen and all these different questions? Usually it's not too many. Uh, but you know what? A citizen doesn't have to answer if they're a citizen, especially if there's no probable cause. You can't just willy nilly just pull every single car over. So, you know, I was, you know, pro this is probably 2012 ish time period. I'm like, you know what? A U.S. citizen doesn't have to tell you if they're a U.S. citizen. And so the Border Patrol check guy, and meanwhile, I had never left the country. I had to go through Border Patrol checkpoint, but I had never left the country. And the other thing is, even if I did leave the country, and even if I was an illegal alien, 
they literally, you have the Homeland Security saying, oh, we help complete the smuggling process. And so even if I was an illegal alien, then all you would do is like ship me off to Minneapolis or somewhere deep in there and help pay for everything and maybe give me an Obama phone back in the day. So I wasn't willing to play ball because, you know, any exercise, a right not exercise is a right lost. And so, you know, what I got for, for that little exercise, I got uh, M4 pointed at my head by the, by the, now the, after about two seconds, they just let me go. They just wanted to you know show me who's boss and that whole deal. But, and then I still was doing things to support the police. But now at this stage of the game, I mean, the only reason 26 million people are unemployed or 30 million, I mean, it's hard to even keep up with how big these numbers are. I think it's around 30 right now is because the police are enforcing this and there's too many indoctrinated sheep out there that aren't willing to stand up and do something and take action but you know this maybe they're not even going to need id in the future because it's we're all going to be facially recognized i mean i've heard that they even have in china like technology where they don't even need that facial recognition they can like do it based off like your earlobe or some crazy crap like that and so you know maybe mirror that up with some sort of like elon musk starlink system and i'm not you know, i'm not just saying like that type of system not, i don't know if elon musk is a part of that but you know who knows maybe elon musk is part of the psyop where he's you know out here saying we er, workers need to get back to work but maybe so he appears to be the good guy while he's getting like this neural link anyways we we didn't do any show prep at all. I just came back from, from another show uh, I was doing. and uh, But this, it just got my blood boiling because it's everything that we're warning about all being jumbled in. Like, we're just being hit with so much information that, I mean, they announced, you know, different uh, UFOs. And it's, it's not even something I've even looked into or talked about because there's so much other crap going on. But this is a slippery, slippery slope, but it's not a slippery slope. We're going off a cliff, and that cliff is leading right into tyranny, Luke. Yeah, I mean, it's terrifying to hear the words, you know, there's an emergency and the government will protect you. Well, again, historically, that hasn't been the case. You look up democide. Um, if you don't know what that word is, look it up, put it into DuckDuckGo, look up democide, share that information with your friends and family members, share this video with your friends and family members, because they need to understand the other side of it. Because here in the United States, other countries have different situations, different societies and different kind of cases. But here in the United States, when we have a gun society, we have a polite society like we do in Texas. When we have a gun free zone like we do in Chicago, well, we have a situation that is a lot more detrimental and turbulent, not only to the sovereignty and freedom of individuals, but of course to their safety and to their protection. And, and again, criminals will always find a way to have guns. The government stepping in here finding people, trying to throw people in jail. This is going to, I mean, what's happening? We know, we know a few can, we, we know a few Canadians. All of them are weird, but this is, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, this is extremely worrying because this is again, bordering the United States and this will have a huge effect and will embolden many politicians in the United States to take similar actions. And slowly these kind of, politicians, these kind of Justin Trudeau's who are coming in here saying that they're going to be helping and protecting. No, look at the result of their actions. It's going to lead to a whole bunch of people getting robbed, getting extorted with taxes and fines, having their wealth stolen away from them by guys with guns threatening to use force if they don't. And other people are just going to be straight thrown to jail because they have a weapon that they need to and rely on in nature to protect themselves or to feed themselves with and to pretty much ban a thousand five hundred. I mean, I don't know how many of styles of different assault uh, rifles there are, but that seems like all of them. Um, and, and to implement that on such a wide. I mean, they're trying to say that semi-automatic is assault rifle. And by semi-automatic, if you then can conflate those words, basically almost every gun is semi-automatic. And so then if you can ban semi-automatics and you ban everything and then you say semi-automatics or assault rifles just because they're black and scary. Uh, I mean, we should get Maj Trey on sometime, you know, talk about black guns matter. Because this is, I mean, th this is, they're making their move on every single front. And it's just, you know, never let a good, good crisis go to waste. And it's like, boom, every single thing being hit at, hit at once. And we don't even know where to begin. Yeah, I mean, I mean, focusing on a Canada is going to be an important one. I hope there's some, you know, peaceful, uh, legitimate pushback against this because this is this is ultimately very ridiculous. And to do this at a time of crisis um, is is really just uh, what government usually does. And I wanted to kind of share this quote by uh, Ludwig von Mises, who said, "Depressions and mass unemployment are not caused by the free market." but by government interference in the economy. And when you look at what's happening, when you look at more economic devastation coming soon, we're gonna have more overreach, more power hungry 
plutocrats coming in there and trying to gobble up as much power, as much money as they can away from you. And it's our duty, it's our right to push back against it. Of course, peacefully, nonviolently, but there needs to be a big message that, hey, um, you, you can't just trample on and destroy people's sovereignty and life and humanity and dignity all because you think you're doing the right thing. You're not doing the right thing. There's no way. Look at the cause and effects. That's all you have to do. Look at the cause and effects of certain actions. And right now, there's going to be a lot of people suffering because of the draconian evil rules and laws established by government. Look up democide, duck, duck, go. Forget about Google, duck, duck, go. That's why we are here sharing this very important message. If you thought this message was important, share it with your friends and family members. You doing that is more important than ever. And because you guys do that, love you guys. Stay tuned for more.